It's going to be a good day. It's in the air. You can feel it. You can, you can smell it. Oh, you can feel it in your lungs. It's going to be a good day. A good day. So good morning, everybody. We're in the backyard. The infamous backyard. My favorite place right now. It's not too cold out this morning. So I'm just waiting for the day when winter starts to set in. You know, that one day when you wake up and it's minus 50 and you weren't expecting it yet. That day, it's coming. But it's still gonna be a good day. I mean, you can't change that. Good morning, everybody. Another new day is here. Slowly getting colder one day at a time. Today I'm gonna go get all of my uh, my personal things out of the truck. Uh, I need to get them out of there so that another driver can use it if it's needed. And so that, you know, I have all my stuff here. I left my shavers there. So mostly I need to go get my shavers. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get all that out of there. And we gotta do a little bit of grocery shopping later today and whatnot, but I don't think we need much. I think we need like some salads and stuff, right? Salads and not McDonald's? Salad, fruit, tomato soup. Stuff like that. See, I told you we we're gonna do better. Yesterday we got McDonald's and then half an hour later we went, oh no. This was a huge mistake. That was a mistake. But it was so good, it was a delicious mick mick mistake. Mick mistake. Mixtake? A mixtake. But that sounds too much like steak. We should have steak tonight. Uh, we got leftovers for steak tomorrow. Steak tomorrow. Good morning, Chevy. Good morning, let's get down to your level here. How's the good Chevy doing today? How's the good Chevy? I see a little tail wag back there. Uh, I see that, you can't hide it from me. You can't hide it from me. The most perfect dog. He's our youngest boy, our youngest dog. And uh, he's the best behaved. He's half golden shepherd. No, he's, he's golden shepherd. He's half golden retriever, half German shepherd. I wanted a German shepherd. Britt wanted a golden retriever. Boom. This guy. Not a unicorn. This guy popped out of nowhere and he's a unicorn. Full on golden retriever in here. And the face. And he's got the size of the German Shepherd. You're a big boy. But you're a big gentle giant. Right? You're a big teddy bear. Big fluffster. Little fluffster, you get a little boopster. Get the little boops. Was that a little bit hard? Oh, a big boop. I'm out of here. No boops. Frankie, what do you got to tell the good people? Any stories of the war? I was in the Milk Bone War, 69. 69 now? He was in a lot of wars. I've been in. He's been places. Look at him. Look at him. What? What's wrong with me? What do you mean, look at him? Look at you. At least I don't look like you. You're a good boy. He's a foster. And he has just become one with our pack. He's really come a long way. When we first took him on as a foster, uh, he was very, what would you say? Angry? Hesitant? You couldn't pick him up. He was uh, a lot bigger. He was a little insecure. A little insecure. Guarded. Guarded. Maybe because he didn't know any of us. He didn't know our pack. And, and then, I forced it upon him. Yeah, we slowly forced it on him. And now he's just one with everyone. Oh, so angry. So angry. Get him. Come on, Chevy, get up. Get up. Don't take it easy on him because he's old. Get up. Frankie. Sir Frankie, is that your proper title? I don't know. Commander Frankie. Sergeant. Sergeant Frankie. That's the one. Sergeant Frankie. <laughs> well, well, that looks like a lot of fun. Wouldn't mind pulling that bad boy. So we're on our way to get our stuff. So I am getting ready to do something different. Still trucking, 
but something different. So I don't think I'm going to be in the Peterbilt anymore. So that's why we're going there. We're gonna get all our stuff out of there. Plus, I need to shave. I had an interview for another position this morning. Uh, trucking. And I think it went pretty well. I don't know, I guess we'll hear back. So there's that going on. Looking at doing some different kind of trucking. It's still gonna be fun. From what I hear, this position would still get me out to uh, like Ontario, like Dryden, Kenora. Uh, I could go as far as Winkler, down in Southern Manitoba, all around Winnipeg. But mostly a position where I can go out in the morning, be back in the afternoon, and be home in the evening. And I think the interview went pretty well today. I think, uh, I think it went, I, I felt good about it. I hope they felt the same. But with all that being said, I gotta go get all my stuff. I still got a lot of stuff in that Peterbilt. It was a nice truck, I'm gonna miss that truck. It was a really nice truck. But we gotta make decisions and choices in life, right? And what matters most is family. Especially when we're trying to start a family, you kinda have to be around to make a baby, you know? It helps when you're there. Exciting stuff coming up, guys. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Don't worry, I'm taking you along for the ride. And we'll see what life brings us. I'm gonna try something new. Maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. But I have a good feeling that uh, it's a positive change. And I'm excited to share it with you. If this interview uh, didn't go as well as I thought it did and uh, I don't get the position, uh, I have other opportunities, possibly uh, driving a dump truck, but that only starts in spring. It's a seasonal job. It's, it's not a for sure thing either, but it's, a, it's an opportunity. It's something to look into. You can drive a dump truck around bring a little bit of dirt over there, a little bit of dirt over there. Those are long hours during the summer, but you get laid off for winter. Different opportunities I've been looking into. I just gotta get something that I can get my, uh, my uh, highway fever taken care of, you know? I love trucks. I gotta be around trucks at least a little bit. I gotta do a little bit of trucking. I gotta, I gotta keep trucking. You know, maybe I could drive one of those. That looks fun. I don't know what's in there. I don't know what that is, but I can drive it. Hey, it's got a steering wheel and wheels. I can drive it. I've also thought of like doing snow clearing through the winter, uh, driving a plow truck, a garbage truck. I've got all kinds of ideas floating around inside, inside my big old head, but nothing is for certain yet. Uh, this guy's gonna use up all my washer fluid now that he's in front of me. Either way, it's gonna be great, and we're all gonna have a lot of fun. I talked to the big boss yesterday, the CEO, the big man. He's such a great guy. I love working for him. It's the hardest part is uh, saying goodbye to the, the family there at work. We call it, I, I say it's like a family. They treat everybody like family. They've treated me so good. And, uh, you know, they, they said there's always uh, an opening there for me. Uh, if whatever, whatever I'm trying right now, whatever I'm trying to discover about myself and life, if it doesn't work out, they'll throw me back in a truck and we'll go trucking over the road again. Well, everybody, there she is in all her glory. Look at her. She's beautiful. Beautiful. So we gotta go get our stuff out of there. I <laughs> really need to shave tonight and uh, they might need to use this truck for something else or someone else might need to use it. So may as well get all my stuff out of there. 
I see someone plugged her in for me. I appreciate that. Won't need a starter up today though. There's my slippers. I've missed you, I've needed you. Okay, everybody. Here we go. It smells good in here at least. It's good. <laughs> like I said when I moved into this truck, you never quite realize how much junk you have until you move. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff, man. Why do I have all this stuff? I got a problem. I know, it looks like a bunch of garbage. I just used old shopping bags. And there's more, right? All of this in here yet. Nice new tires. You served me well, girl. You served me well. Oh, hey, these are mine. These are mine. It's the little things, you know? Attention to detail. So much stuff. There's my shaver, though. Nice about that. Shaved his beard. This is my own washer fluid that I bought with my own money. It's summer stuff anyways. <laughs> ah, try not to get my jacket. I wore my nice jacket, of course. Dang it all dirty. Can't put this thing through the wash either because it's a heated jacket. I'll have to wipe it down when I get home. That's okay. I think there's still more. it up the whole truck is full half the bed in the back all my stuff I didn't want to get dirty and stuff in here my pillows and laundry and stuff and man I have a lot of junk man do you guys hoard this much too or is it just me yikes actually I guess I don't need my I'm just going back to the shop I got to bring them the key uh, because like I said someone else is probably going to be put into the truck I don't know it's uh, it's sort of sad gathering all my stuff out of that truck. I love that truck. But at the same time, I'm very excited. Very excited for what comes next. Who knows? Well, I have an idea, but I'm gonna wait before I share it with you until we have something solid. But there are some things in the works and I'm pretty excited about it. Alright, I forgot my good mask, so good thing I always carry along a couple of pickup masks. Oh, that's upside down. It's upside down. The wire goes at the top, the blue side goes out. That way you can tell if the inside is dirty. You put the white side against your face, so then you can tell when you look at it if it's dirty. That's what I think, anyways. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Gotta bring in all these seals, my company ID. <coughs> Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. So me moving into uh more, well, there's a big horse right there. Wow. Where'd he come from? He's never been there before. <laughs> so me moving into this new endeavor, uh, looking around, uh, this was all done like me cleaning out the truck was just to make, make it available for another driver. And it all, it was all on good terms, all on good terms. For the future, I have decided that I need to be home with my family. So we'll see what kind of trucking we can get up to. It may work out, it may not. But we won't know if we don't try. That's what we do know. 
And the thing that we do have in the works does not involve that specific truck. So that's why I got all of my stuff out of it. Someone else is gonna drive that truck. And whoever gets that truck is gonna love it. That bed was so comfortable. It was so big, that sleeper was so deep. I believe it was an 80 inch sleeper. So from the back of the, the, the cab where you sit to the back of the actual sleeper, 80 inches. It had a twin size bed in there. That is a truck fit for a king or a queen. You never, I don't know who's gonna get it. Hopefully the next truck that I get put into will be just as nice. I can guarantee you it's not gonna have such a big sleeper. <laughs> guarantee you it's not gonna have that kind of a sleeper. Probably won't have any sleeper. So I encourage you, subscribe, stick around, hit that notification bell. I'm just as excited to see what's gonna happen as you are. Who knows? Maybe we'll know more tomorrow. We'll have to tune in to find out. Maybe we'll even get to see what truck we'll be driving tomorrow. Or I guess I should say technically the truck that I would be driving if I get the position. It's not a done deal yet. They can still say no. We don't want you, Trucker Josh. Shoo. Shoo, get out of here. But that would be mean. <laughs> and honestly, I have all the experience I think that they're that they're looking for. Well, bud. Me get to spend a lot more time at home. I'm excited. What do you think, bud? You were getting ready to retire off the road anyways, right? Getting a little bit older. Yeah. And Chevy over here, he's more of a homebody anyways. He doesn't like even the smallest rides. He wouldn't be a very good trucking dog. But. Uh, so, uh, got that all cleaned out. I got a lot of stuff in my truck. I'm going to make a video about that tomorrow. All the stuff that I had in my truck. It's ridiculous the amount of stuff we, we hoard and hold on to in there. I'm gonna go over it all, spread it out, and then I want you to tell me if you do the same thing or if you have even more junk in your truck than I have in mine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's the video for today. I spent most of the day there cleaning it out and getting ready for whatever comes next. Okay, we got some things in the works like I was saying. So that truck is all ready for the next driver, the lucky driver that gets to drive that thing. That I love that Peterbilt, the sleeper. That was the nicest sleeper I've ever had. I think very it's kind of very plain it wasn't fancy but it was so deep that there was so much room in there me and diesel were totally comfortable in there the whole time so but i want to see tomorrow tune in tomorrow i want to see if <laughs> you have as much junk in your truck as i do in mine we'll compare we'll see maybe i'm a little more of a hoarder than i thought i was so we'll see you tomorrow i'm excited to see what happens next i hope you are too take care don't forget to subscribe down below daily videos are going to keep coming. You don't want to miss them.